So to understand the real value of Designer and what it does, we're first going to go back and look at what I'm going to refer to as the stone age of the tools that we have for identity management. And so I've got a little person here. We'll call him Fred, as in Flintstone. And Fred is going to go to each target system. And he's going to look at this, again, very myoptically, looking just at one. He's going to look at it, configure it, test it, and then go on to the next system and look at it and work with it, and then so on and so forth. And this goes on and on and on and on and on. Now, that's kind of the view that, again, or that is the view that our competitors have, is they take a look at things at a very simple point-to-point -point level. But in reality, when we get to things like transparency, we want to be able to understand exactly what's going on. We want to be able to design these systems. And in order to design it and really have a, a useful design, we first have to be able to model that design. And so that's exactly what we give inside of Designer, is a graphical or GUI tool that a person can drag and drop new systems on board. Whether they're the traditional directories, email, HR applications, business apps, or other types of systems that people may not even think about, such as their PBX systems, um, the routers and switches that may be inside the environment, the physical aspects of it even front door card systems that I may be ha having to use inside of my different enterprises or inside of a customer's enterprise. So now that I've modeled this in a graphical way, this is pretty simple to understand. The Stone Age approach, I'm going to go in and look at usually text files and things of that nature, and maybe I've drawn it out in Visio or on a whiteboard, but now I can drag and drop these tools in, again, very easily to add new services or new capabilities into the identity management solution. So that modeling tool, again, is a very unique feature. The other aspect of it is that that's not all. Now, not only am I able to model it, I can now go in and configure it. So if I come in here to my HR application and I'm looking at it, I can come in and understand, well, what are the attributes? How am I going to map attributes, for example? But not doing this in some XML file or some text file, but I'm graphically simply dragging and dropping these and creating the relationship between them. I can then come in and edit the policies for these things as well and dictate out, well, OK, when these certain things happen, here's the policy that I want you to implement. So configuring it, model, then configure. And the next aspect is to test this. So I go through and I've done all of these. I've configured all of them. The policies are in place. So what do you do? Well, with our competitor solutions, what they have to do is go out now, let's put the test bed in, and we'll start to see how well this works. Well, with Designer, being a standalone tool designed by consultants for consultants, it allows them now to model, configure, and then test on a single machine. So now they can actually see, well, what's the outcome? I make a change here. What happens over here? Very simple ways for them to do it. What is the benefit? Well, it's definitely easier to do it that way. Thereby, it reduces the risk and then also reduces the cost because it reduces the time that's required for it. So very cool tool, but what about the final end, the final end piece of this? Well, now, again, with a single click, I can deploy these out to either a pilot system, a production system, or another test bed. If I've already done testing on one side, but I want to further that, I can do that with just a simple click. So from the designer perspective, what this offers to customers is the ability for them to manage this over the lifetime of the product, as well as to help them during the deployment. For partners, it helps them to reduce the risk and the time and the cost that's required for them to maintain this or design this for the long term for the customer. But there's one other aspect here that's, the, that's very important. It's one thing to go through and to make all these changes and design it. It's quite a number to do the actual end result thing that everyone has to do, but seems to be left out at the very end. And that is to document this deployment. So if you think about that, look at most of your different uh, service agreements. The consultants come in, they design this whole thing, and then they have to document it. It's usually done at the end of the project, and what you wind up with in many cases is very limited amounts of documentation, where you need to have a lot more in order to prove compliance, for one, as well as to be able to maintain it and understand what's actually in there over the long run.
So the other benefit that this offers to customers is the ability to simply go in and say, document it and kick out a full documentation report. Again, that can be formatted to whatever format the customer wants it to look like, but again, get all the way down to attribute level content. What is, what's going where? What are the policies that are implemented? Now, if you did this just once, maybe that's not such a great selling point. Or it's, it is, but maybe it's not the best one. But in reality, this isn't a one-time thing. This is a numerous. Every iteration, we need to be able to document the current state. Why? Well, again, compliance and maintenance purposes. If you want to know why Novell wins all these awards all the time for Identity Manager, it is mainly responsible because of this tool. This is the number one reason why different companies and different analysts and uh, evaluators choose Novell is this graphical tool. So this has been Justin Taylor again thanking you for taking the time to watch this video and wishing you happy selling.